So today we'll discuss a hack by which a simple command by which you can save a lot of time every time you do a check in. Right. So what you do is generally you unstage some of the files when you do a check in. So I have made changes to this four files, but I don't want this file to get checked in because here I have set it as false, which is true generally in pipelines. Right. So and this is environment equal to test. So this value is coming generally from pipeline variables. So these two changes I don't want to get commit. So what can I do? Let's see in this video. So if you're coming first time on my channel, you can look at the playlist, you can uh, subscribe to my channel. So there are various playlists and so many videos are there. The channel name is Ujjal, which means share. So let's begin. These are some values generally, which you change locally sometimes, right? Like maybe in pipeline, it is true. You set it false. You set some uh, values, right? This one is for uh, node.js and similarly, if you are using C sharp, then you put it like this in run settings file, right? Which you generally uh, keep the environment variables, right? Let's say you want to run in stage environment, prod environment or test environment. So all values you put when you test locally, but all of this come from pipeline, right? So all these changes, we don't want uh, them to get committed, right? So what we can do is to avoid this thing, there is a command which can help us, right? So the command is, so this is a problem that, okay, we unstate some of the files like run settings environment or config.json. Now to avoid that, this is the command given by git. So what it will do is whatever changes you will do in this particular file, it will ignore all those changes, right? So what will happen is that whatever changes you do, uh, it, it might not come in your comment. So Git will not then track your file, right? So, but what if there are changes in that file? So we'll come to that, that uh, how you can do that. But let's try to run this command. So I'll go to my terminal. So if you see this file is getting tracked, these are the changes that I made, right? It was this true and, but I don't want this to check in, right? It unnecessarily waste my time to click on this rollback. So instead I can, uh, so instead I can run that command. I have already kept that command, git update index, right? This command and I'll give this file data file dot properties. So one thing you have to make sure that you are in that directory now uh, where the dot git folder is there. So as of now you see that dot uh, git folder is not, not visible. So you can run the command to check out dir minus force. So if you see, I have given this command data file dot properties and if I go to git, uh, now that file is no longer getting tracked, right? Because for many days I am not expecting change in that file, right? I only change it uh, locally. So if you see now I have changed this value true false, even if I add uh, something new, right? Or even let's say I'm making it stage. So you will notice that. So if I run the git status command now, you will see that, okay, it is not coming in the status, right? Because it is no longer getting tracked. But one question can come that what if somebody has made the change to that file, right? It is possible that that file can get changed, right? Otherwise we could have simply put it in git ignore. So the difference why we are not putting it in git ignore is if you uh, put that file in git ignore, then it will get checked in and people doing changes to that file are not reflecting back, right? So these are those files which sometimes can get changed, right? So, so there is another command where there is a very little difference. If you see here, only no is getting added to the existing command assume unchanged, right? So when you want that file to get tracked or you want to git pull origin, right? You want to take the latest changes, then you can uh, do like this right then it will revert that back so let's run it to see that uh, whether it is working or not right so in my terminal i am running the command here so in this assume change i will add no at the front of it right and now i'll run git status command so if you see now this file is getting tracked data file dot properties right now it is here and it is getting tracked so this way you can save a lot of time by putting all those files which you locally change like this, right? And after three, four days, you can bring it back so that when you pull the latest and somebody has added something in this, right? Let's say they have added a new property, 
called as uh, database connection right so then uh, those things you can get it but it can save a lot of time i generally put my run settings file and all those files by this command and whenever i do a commit it does not come here right and it can save your time because unnecessarily you have to uh, put many files right uh, uncommit them now you see it's not coming if you want to com uh, commit it back you can bring like this so this you have to do maybe once in a week if there are changes coming to that file because hope it you will find this useful and please subscribe to my channel hope you like it thank you for watching